Hey everyone, I am Michelle Ann Smith and I wanted to share with you a quick and easy recipe to make some sinless chocolate chip cookies. I know that it has been tough with this quarantine. We are really just kind of getting into our groove um, and it's been hard for us because we are both still working from home. Now we're homeschooling from home, parenting from home and the stress eating has been real. Also in March, like our dog was so severely sick he almost died like we went through a stretch um, with him in the hospital and then at home and it was just all the emotional eating that you can think of so trolls oreos were like constantly in our pantry and we were just eating them way too much so i need to make something because i want to stop eating the um very delicious trolls oreos but i i have a wicked sweet tooth so i just need a little bit something that has a little bit more substance to it that can help me get that sweet um, hit to crush the craving, but also has a little bit more to it so that I'm not then continuing to go back for more and more and more. I don't know about you, but whenever I eat sugar, it's like it triggers something and then you just can't stop. It's addictive. So let me share with you this recipe. You're gonna need four ingredients. That's it, four ingredients, no big deal. You should already have these at home um, and you should be able to make them up right now if you want. Um, I'll also share the link with you. I have this on my blog. So if you don't want to follow along right now, you can just grab it off of my website. So what you're going to need is two ripe bananas and then you're going to need some like all natural peanut butter. I like this Kirkland brand. I get it from, um, Sam's Club or Costco. And, uh, it is the reason that I really like it is it's just peanuts. It doesn't have palm oil or any kind of oil. It doesn't add sugar. It's just peanuts and sea salt. Um, the difference that you'll see if you start buying this, if you haven't already, is that there's sort of a layer of oil on the top when you first open it up. And um, you really have to spend some time stirring it up. You want to get that, you don't want to dump the oil out. I made that mistake when I first started buying this, but you want to stir it all the way in. Um, you probably need to spend like five or so minutes just kind of doing that with the first time you open up each container. But trust me, it's going to be well worth it in um you will taste a difference i swear so you're gonna need peanut butter two bananas you're gonna need um old-fashioned oats i just kind of buy like john eagle brand oats and you're gonna need some dark chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips whatever kind of chocolate chips you use you may want to add a splash of vanilla pure vanilla extract again the key is pure so that it's just you know vanilla in there and they're not adding in all kinds of other stuff but that is totally optional you don't have to have it if you don't you're gonna be fine so what I did already um, and you don't need a stand mixer you can totally do this by hand I just happen to be um, needing this for something later so I'm using it um, I put in my two bananas and I put in my um, heaping teaspoon of peanut butter and I blended it up so you can see it just looks like a blah pan of mashed up banana and peanut butter so that is the first thing that I do if you want to do your vanilla you'll want to add that in um, right there mix it all up so that was two ripe bananas and a heaping teaspoon full or teaspoon tablespoon I'm sorry heaping tablespoon of peanut butter um, mashed up together then you're gonna want to add in your one cup of dry oats and you just kind of want to put that in there you're using a stand mixer you just want to kind of blend that up again it does not take long at all to kind of get that scraped on the sides but i like to do my wet ingredients first and then kind of fold in my dry ingredients second and then the last thing you want to do is you just want to add in your um chocolate chips and you really don't need your stand mixer for that so just kind of mix that all together just that's just what it looks like I know people like to see exactly what's in there it is not fancy it just it looks exactly how you think it would look it looks like some batter so preheat your oven to 350 degrees mine is already heated up and then you're just going to want to do like heaping tablespoons onto an ungreased cookie sheet and then you just bake for like hmm, 13 to 15 minutes just kind of keep an eye on them when you're done they're ready to go heat them warm Put them in the refrigerator when you're done i like to put them in the refrigerator i don't know why just think it keeps them fresher longer especially since it's just there's no preservatives or anything in here it's just kind of all natural um 
please don't ask me about the nutritional. I don't know the fat or the, the calories. Like I don't measure those kinds of things. I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I just know that um, one or two cookies at the most is enough for me to call one snack. If you follow the ultimate portion fix, you can eat two of these cookies and it will be equivalent to one yellow container. So that is my recipe for cookies. What do you think of these cookies? Hi. Are they good? Um, yeah, they're my favorite. And guess what guys? I biked up the hill without walking and my mom and dad are proud of me. So proud and she is definitely someone who likes these cookies. So that is my sinless chocolate chip cookie recipe. I will post it in the recipe and Bye, I hope guys. you guys enjoy. And if you do, please let me know. I really want your feedback. Take care.